Let's resume. So we have this property of a set that we call compactness. And of course, we've learned lots of other properties of sets, right? A set could be open, a set could be closed, one set could be dense in another set, et cetera. These are all notions of uh, definitions that we've learned for sets in Rn. What I want to show you is that the notion of compactness is actually an intrinsic property to the set. It doesn't matter what metric space you're in. That's different from some of the other notions. So for instance, you know, if we, uh, uh, if we, if you think about a, um, an open set, would you agree this set uh, is open in R? Yes? Yes? But if I view this set as being embedded in R2, this set is no longer open, is it? Not every point is an interior point. Certainly, and what's, what's, what's wrong? In R, a, a neighborhood looks like this, doesn't it? But in R2, what does a neighborhood look like? It looks like a whole disk, doesn't it? And so this particular set as a subset of R2 is no longer open. Are you with me? OK. So uh, it's not open in R2 as, uh, what do I mean? Well, I'm, I'm viewing this now as a subset of uh, A, B, uh, where A, uh, sorry, it's uh, the y coordinate 0, A0, where A is in 0, 1. So viewed as a subset of R2, it's no longer open. So openness actually depends on what set you're in. Yes? What I want to show you is that compactness does not. Okay, uh, but before I do that, I have to uh, explain to you now um, how we w w how we um, relate the the notions of openness in one set when it's embedded in a bigger set. Okay, so I began with an example, but this is all part of um, the question of what it means to be open uh, uh, open relative to uh, a particular metric space. So um, let me title this portion, Relative Open Sets. So um, let's be very careful about what we mean by open. We defined what it, sets a set, uh, what it means for a set to be open before. But now let's think a bit about the metric space that we're in. So suppose you have, first of all, would you agree that if I have a subset of a metric space, y, and this lives in some x, would you agree that y is also a metric space? Why? x has a notion of distance, a metric, yes? And therefore, you can apply the same metric to the points in y, because it's just a subset of x. Are you with me? Yes? Ah, OK. So we say that y inherits a metric from x. Okay, this is y inherits a metric from x. So if y is an x uh, that's metric, then y is a metric space. And uh, y inherits a metric from x. Okay, so picture in your head is something like this. Here's a metric space x. Here's a smaller set y. Okay. And it's also a metric. OK, so um, if we're going to define what we mean for a set to be open in y or in x, we need to come back to the definition. A set is open if every point is a interior point. Oh, but what does it mean to be interior? A point is interior if it has an open ball around it. It's contained in that metric space, yes? Clearly, it's what you meant, but now we have, have to, have to uh, worry about which metric space we're talking about. Okay, So let's talk about what it means to be an open ball. Can you see a situation in this picture where the notion of open ball in y and open ball in x might be different? 
Yeah. How about a point over here uh, and a ball around it might look something like uh, this. In, in x, here's an open ball. Let's, an open ball would be a, should be the same radius, but OK. You get the picture, yes? Ah, now what's an open ball in y going to look like? I mean, this is distance r, isn't it? Some radius r, that's an open ball. What is that open ball in y going to look like? This is an open ball in x of radius r around the point x. So maybe I'll just notate that here. That's n sub r of x in big X. What about if I'm just talking about the space y? What is the open ball going to look like? It's going to be smaller? Smaller in radius? No. Same, same, same radius, but what? It's going to be just the stuff on inside of y. Yes? So that is n sub bar of x in y. Everybody see the difference between the two pictures? OK, good. So now uh, the, the question remains, um, what, uh, what's the connection between sets general sets that are open, not just open balls, general sets that are open in Y versus general sets that are open in X. So same picture. Here's, oops, X. Here's Y. Okay. And now suppose I have some, so I, I want to know when is a set in Y going to be open? Like can I, can I give a criterion that would help me decide when a set is open? So here's an example. Suppose I take this set. Is this set of all stuff on this side? Is this open? Uh, and I'm gonna I'm gonna include this boundary here because that's also in Y. So how many people say this set is uh, open in Y? How many people say it's not open in Y? Okay. Hmm. Why not? What's it mean to be open in Y? Well, it means every point is a what? Interior point. Is this point an interior point? Yes, because it has a ball around it, like that one, in fact, in Y that's still open. So would you agree this point has this ball inside it? This is the open ball around X that's in Y. Yes? OK, well, that point has an is an interior point. Some of you said you don't believe this, this set is open in Y. If so, you have to show me a point that's not interior. What's a point that's not interior? Any point on where? On the edge? You don't think this is interior? It has a ball around it in Y that's contained around the point. How many people think this set that I've drawn is open in Y? Okay, more of you now. Do you agree? It has neighborhoods. It's just that you forget everything outside, and it, it's still, this is definitely all the points in Y that are distance R from this point X. Yes? With me? Okay, very good. So uh, this set is open in Y. Is it open in X? No. But is there a relationship between sets that are open in Y and sets that are open in X? I claim there is, a very nice criterion. And the criterion is a set is open in Y if there, it turns out, if, if and only if there exists a set in X that is open, whose intersection with Y is this given set. Okay, so let me call this set a name. We'll call it E. 